So what is IgM again? I have told you that it is having the pentameric structure. Again, they are linked via the disulfide linkages using another small short peptide fragment, which is called the J-chain fragment. Here we can see. Okay. So the properties of this IgM is that it's the third highest serum immunoglobulin, and this is the immunoglobulin which is first made by fetus and all B cells. So all the B cells are default; they are programmed default. So default programming to produce IgM all the cases. So when there is an infection, if the, the in infection or the antigen is not recognized properly, not uh, processed properly, the basic immunoglobulin that a cell always try to produce to, to control the infection into a basal level is this IgM. So it produces IgM for the very beginning so that they can uh, slightly go against the antigen that newly enters and then they will modify it uh, and produce a perfect uh, specific uh, immunoglobulin so that they can fight it much more efficiently but for the beginning they secrete this IgM this IgM can also fix complement this is the best complement fixing IgM because as we can see I have uh, not discussed about this that as we are having this is called the FAB portions right this Y shaped region is called the FAB portion and antibody binding portion and what we are having two different segments so that's why for each monomer of all these antibodies there are two regions for binding with antigens so that's why usually a monomer of antibody is called as or is termed as uh, divalent so it it is divalent means it can bind with two different uh, molecules two different antigen molecules at a time right now for this IgM if it is having all these five different monomers and I mind you I remind you that this all of these monomers all these monomers are having similar heavy chain as well as they are having similar light chain okay they are having similar heavy chains as well as light chains so they are having identical five monomers so they are having the valency of 5 into 2 which is giving us a 10 so they are having the valency of 10 so the 10 valency is a very very huge valency so they can bind with that number of immunoglobulin uh, yeah, that number of antigens uh, so that they can fix the complement very well because the antigen comp for the complement fixation uh, the most important part is the attachment of antigen with antibody so that we can form an antigen antibody complex and the formation of antigen antibody complex can be achieved most uh, more quicker by this IgM because it is having 10 regions to bind with the antigen so it, it will quick, quickly agglutinate or it will quickly bind with all these antigens and that's uh, why it is uh, quickly fix its complement okay and what is complement fixation I've already discussed in my uh, video lectures about uh, the antigen antibody interactions in, the, in especially in the in, in the last kind of tests or, or complement fixation test okay you can find it in my youtube channel okay and obviously it is having some kind of uh, receptor or biological activities like it can bind with some fc receptor onto some surface of b cells so that's why it is having slightly elongated polypeptide chain here it is called also the tail piece which is the interacting part this is the terminal of fc region of, for this igm monomer that can sit onto the in a surface of B cells which are the secretory house of this kind of antibody